If you have psoriatic arthritis, Enbril helps relieve joint pain, will stop joint damage, and help skin get clearer. Enbril may lower your ability to fight infection. Okay, I'll give jurors detailed instructions for delivery. Hey, military spouses and their kids. Become a member. Get an insurance quote today. Uh, closing arguments explaining why there was no excuse, it said, for former officer Chauvin to use any deadly force on There's a Kenosha, Wisconsin shooting that left three dead. Kenosha. I don't know where it is. There was a disturbance. It sounds like uh, one person got removed from the establishment uh, and, and possibly came back a short time later. Uh, we, we can, I can confirm that there are three people that have been, that have, have died uh, from this shooting. Two actually. 
actually at the Summers house, and one was actually jumped into a car and, and uh, uh, traveled southbound on Sheridan Road and, and had something passed away too. We don't believe this was a random act. I, I currently, from what I've been told, believe that the three people who passed away probably knew each other, and uh, this was a targeted situation. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching. serving the people of Wisconsin for more than 30 years. This Sunday, a vaccine pause. This is all the Johnson & Johnson that I can't use. Health officials temporarily stopped the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This, in fact, is a confirmation of how seriously we take safety. After at least eight people... sides to a story and they can never be the truth or reality except that what we're about here is getting to the truth um, and not simply um, stories now it is most certainly right started just before 9 last night after someone left whatever they'd been smoking unattended at that facility. We're told a woman was killed. A firefighter got knocked down from an explosion during the fire. Now, that was last night. Here is a picture this morning. You can see this home is now boarded up all along from left to right, downstairs and up. This fatal fire in Salt Village. We're told the firefighter who was hurt was sent to St. Margaret's Hospital and has now been God, released. We're enough. waiting on the identity of friend. the woman that was oh, killed in that fire. A seven-year-old girl is dead, shot and killed in the McDonald's drive through on Chicago's west side. And CBS 2's Stephen Graves talked with the family of Jaslyn Adams, who are begging people to put away their guns. Really emotional right now for my mom. Tearful, pain-filled words from Jaslyn Adams' aunt as she remembers the seven-year-old as funny and joyful. She just the sweet out when a real talk to her. Real Family spoke from right outside Stroger Hospital where the girl died. A Chicago police officer rushing her here from about two miles away inside this bullet-ridden car. It was sitting in a McDonald's drive through at Roosevelt and Kedzie. At least 30 shell casings surrounded the vehicle. The tinted windows on the side were shot out. Bullet holes in the frame and back window as well. Investigators say Jaslyn was hit multiple times around 4:15 Sunday afternoon. Um, family says her father, Jonte Adams, was also hit. Chicago police say the 29-year-old man was shot in the upper body. He should survive. Jaslyn's grandmother tells CBS2 Jonte called her as soon as the shooting happened, saying, "Quote: They shot my baby." Chicago police now looking into who those people are. It's unclear if this was targeted, but officers have not said the public is at risk. Tom says he has faith in you, God, that you will forgive him and restore him to his proper spiritual uh, condition. Oh, please, put the gun down. Oh, please, put the gun down. Oh, 
kids all the time. My kids can't even go out the door because it's uh, fine. Y'all, please put your blood down. Stephen Graves, I CBS have an infinite news. number of universes be created. Chicago police all the are still go looking to for the shooter or attention. shooters who shot this the little girl. They drive by shooting and killed one man and the injured the another. You can see at least a dozen police movies. officers out here. They put up the crime scene tape looking for evidence right near Madison and Laverne. The victims were standing on the sidewalk when police say someone in a supercar started shooting at them. A man was shot in the chest and died. Another was also shot. He's recovered right now so far. No evidence. Carly Pix is a Mossad controls a lot of uh, uh, mass shootings in the United States in the past, but I believe the mass shootings now are not controlled by government. Police responding to a call of shots probably fired people. at one of their own police stations. It happened before 10.30 Sunday morning here at the 24th District Station on Clark Street. That's in Rogers Park. Officers say someone drove up and fired in the direction of the building, then left that scene. No one was hurt so far. There are no arrests. To prepare and protect you. To alert and never alarm. Real-time weather, only on CBS2. The CBS2 investigators, they go after injustice. If you've been wronged, call 312-899-2250 or email cbs2investigators at cbs.com. The CBS2 investigators, they get results. See the desperation. Tom says being the Holy Spirit of God is illegal. Thomas Gardner says being the Holy Spirit of God is illegal. It's going to create a whole new species of humans. Tom says love is illegal. Tom says love is illegal. Mary, who is also Donna, says the being intelligent is the illegal. Is the best way to get award-winning investigations, making live coverage, so help with a new career, whenever, wherever, with just one tap. It's all on CBS Chicago. The Carpenters, Neil Diamond, The Beach Boys, Chicago. The music you love is music you probably discovered on the radio. Rediscover it again. With 87.7, Meet TV FM. from the evil ones in Satan's cult. Affirm, reaffirm. Affirm, reaffirm. To the power of an infinite number of infinities.
afternoon. I'm Brad Edwards. Thanks for joining us on this Monday for your top stories here on CBS in Chicago. A lot going on, but first, here's a live look outside. We're in the middle of April, but that's not stopping winter from making a short comeback. Rob Ellis joining us now. Rob, should we be ready or bracing for some possible snow here? Well, I don't want you to be surprised when you see snow showers coming down tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to amount to very much. We've had the rain already move in, and now the northwest winds are continuing to bring in that cooler air. So here's how it'll look on satellite radar tracker. And this is some new information that's been coming in. Temperatures will steadily decline. We have seen most of the moisture move out, and that will continue through. Water security. Uh, what is your thought on what's going on at the southern border right now, and what is your solution? Well, it's one four hundred thirty-five. I, I think it's to endorse. It's to uh, reinstate the, the, the Trump uh, Remain in Mexico rule. We do have a humanitarian disaster, and I want to make this very, very clear. I am passionate about human trafficking and the stopping of it. It is modern-day slavery. It is. An, uh, it's a. It's a. It's a terrible human tragedy that, that occurs here. We have 2,200 unaccompanied 15 to 17 year old males in the Dallas Convention Center. This is a tragedy. This is a humanitarian crisis above all else. So we can politicize any number of ways we want to. The fact is, if you've got children coming in without any parents, they brought over here by families. We, uh, we have a, a border that supports, so it needs to be reinforced. And let's be honest, um, the president put the vice president in charge of the border. Uh, issue and to date there hasn't been a single um, press conference in 13 days since that uh, determination was made and to my knowledge uh, she hasn't come down here so this this is a crisis and uh, illegal immigration terrorists come through the border but but the big one the evil one is human trafficking we need to stop that and my county uh, uh, my home county Ellis <coughs> If people are shaking you, it is to no avail. If we're doing an honest assessment of the facts, looking at the truth. Turning to that incredible crash landing, a restored World War II dive bomber making an emergency landing in the ocean after experiencing engine failure during an air show. That landing, of course, caught on camera by so many on that crowded beach, and incredibly and thankfully, the pilot was safe and no one was harmed. That when we saw, we get the news. Friend. For no reason. Friend. 
The guy, the father from Married with Children, says he's Derek Chauvin. That's pretty. Back now with the investigation into a deadly crash involving a Tesla. Police say it appears no one was driving, raising questions about the company's autopilot system. Here's ABC from my name, Rosia. This morning, investigators looking for answers into what caused this fiery crash in Houston. The call party advised that they could hear a boom and that they'd be a fire in the woods. So that's the way it's trying to 30 feet tall. Video capturing what's left of a Tesla. I'm looking up the name of the guy from Married with Children. Edward? Ed O'Neill. I guess I knew that for a while. He looks just like him. Tesla has not 
directly commented on the Houston crash. Mm. It's also facing at least one federal investigation into post-crash battery fires. Okay. Anger in Chicago. I don't kneel. Says he is Derek Chauvin. Satan has asked that an infinite number of universes be created where all the resources go to giving them attention. Affirm, reaffirm. Affirm, reaffirm to the power of an infinite number of infinities. God affirms the request. Affirm, reaffirm. Affirm, reaffirm. Power of an infinite number of infinities. Satanists say they would rehash anything and redo anything to keep being around me. I don't blame them. I only experienced kindness from one person, and that was Paul. I didn't know that people experienced kindness from me like that. I guess I really am a Jesus. Jesus was beautiful. Beautiful and kind. Perfect. And I just wanted to be in a six-foot zone around him. Just within a six-foot radius of him. And then I'd be at peace forever. <laughs> oh god I hope not so really from the deadly rampage of that Indiana FedEx facility part of an epidemic so say god Paul Geishen is their dirty little three secret people killed and two injured in a shooting in Kenosha Wisconsin and in Columbus Ohio one person was killed five wounded at a I think these for people are very boring tonight we're learning more about the suspected shooter in Indianapolis police say he legally purchased the two assault rifles used in the attack after he had been interviewed by the FBI and had another gun seized his own mother flagging him to authorities. ABC's Will Carr joins us now from Indianapolis. Tonight, the community is asking how a teenager flagged as a risk was legally able to oh. buy two assault rifles, which authorities say he used to kill eight people at this FedEx. Just over a year ago, the FBI says it interviewed the suspected suspect after his mom alerted them, fearing he might turn violent. Police say they removed a shotgun from his house at the time and placed him on a temporary mental health hold. Indiana's red flag law bars anyone legally deemed dangerous from buying or owning a gun for at least six months. Four months after the FBI interview, authorities say the teen legally bought an assault rifle. He bought another later in the year. Authorities say he used both on Thursday. It's still unclear why the red flag law was not applied in his case. So last year, the police department felt that he was dead. This kid who shot up the FedEx yeah, facility so doesn't so look crazy like the, the one who allegedly or did shoot up the elementary school in Connecticut or Vermont. Maybe, uh, he wouldn't have been able to purchase those weapons legally. Uh, but I don't know enough about it that I can say that anyone dropped the ball per se. Four of the victims were members of the local civic community. How concerned are you finding out that the FBI interviewed him last year and even took a gun out of his house? It's very concerning. We need to hold our leaders accountable. We want answers. Lisa Nicholson says Wonderful she's tortured almost as many infants and children well, as Carla did. Well, but that shootings the like what happened in the elementary school in Connecticut or Vermont aren't real. 
Well, Lindsay, it's interesting. Flags are at half staff here across the city, but at the crime scene, we have not seen a single flower or a memorial that you would normally see at a mass shooting like this. I've spoken to a lot of people who live around here, and some tell me they're simply numb to the violence. Lindsay. Uh, Will, our thanks to you. The FedEx facility was in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um... God, who is Richard Hanning Jr., says Mary Margaret Vachmer owns Indiana. Every time I eat stuffed crust with pizza, I play this song. But watch what happens when I play it backwards. You eat three topping stuffed crust backwards. The original stuffed crust, just eleven ninety nine. No one our pizza's that. Overseas now, supporters of jailed Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny say his condition is critical and he will die in a matter of days without proper medical treatment. Russian officials say that he is receiving care. The White House warns there will be consequences if Navalny dies. Here's ABC's senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel. Russia's leading opposition leader is dying, claims allies of Alexei Navalny. Keeping watch outside his prison, Navalny's doctors saying he's in critical condition. They didn't let us in. Navalny, now 19 days into a hunger strike. His press secretary writing on Facebook he could die within a matter of days. Navalny was poisoned this past summer with a deadly nerve agent, Novichok, a passenger recording him moving in pain. After a long recovery, he turned to Russia and was promptly arrested on charges his supporters say are baseless. Russian officials say Navalny's exaggerating his condition for attention. Uh, Mr. Navalny, he behaves like a hooligan, absolutely, in trying to violate every rule that has been established. Tonight, a chorus of voices, including President Biden, demanding Navalny be allowed access to care. Hey, hey, you're you're you 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 Defending President Biden you just got messages on the uh, no, about half an hour ago. Country, your point on only took 15 minutes because it was a chiropractic adjustment. So, so now I know. Thank you. No. I'll look at some of them. Thanks. The president this weekend for the first time himself on the situation on the border of a crisis. U.S. Secretary of State Lincoln telling Martha Raddatz. I was sick last night, so I rinsed the trash basket out in the shower. But they will need to have a target number. They will now release that new target number out in May, and it will likely not get anywhere near that 62,000 number that had been their goal. Let's see. Mm. Mary Alice, thank you. It's garbage. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. 
You want me to wrap this on your knee? Well, yeah, it might take two. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is it that the box? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it, otherwise it'll roll up, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Michael Vick of Charlie Palmer State in D.C. says there are other factors involved. We have several employees who themselves have underlying conditions. Mm -hmm. They will not return until they're fully vaccinated. They won't be sure that the restaurant is doing everything properly from feeding equipment and cleaning. Americans are spending more in restaurants than they have since last June. Thank you. I need DD here on Wednesday after all. How late are you going to stay? How long am I going to stay? We said whenever. 
however long you needed me for. Okay. Look at that doctor. It sure feels good to get cracked. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, they're going to contact me about the shower chair and drop it off any day now. Isn't that weird an ashtray that doesn't open so you can empty? Yeah. Smells good. Is that you? No, it's probably the vacuum. Oh, because that, that stuff. It has that stuff. Okay. I'm not saying I don't smell. <laughs> I ain't spraying no perfume. Oh. Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh.
but that was from yesterday. I sprayed perfume on me yesterday. What perfume do you use? I use, it's from Pink. What you know, like Victoria's from? Secret Pink. Oh, okay. God, I have those churchy bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, <coughs> this is all gone. You're gonna take it all except okay. for this little bit on here. No, that's okay. <laughs> Do you like bubble gum? Yeah. You should take a pack. It's pretty good. It's the kind they had around when I was little. Yeah, and I was like, this is, this is like the original, original. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Mm. I don't know if they have comics in them or not. They used to have comics in them. these that they were in here? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, I guess you can put that in the fridge.
we'll put this on your. Oh, thank you. Could I have a diet Pepsi, please? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I know I had more. I'm going to stop recording and upload this.